Come on, get out of there. I'm not finished yet. I don't care. We've got to do the review now. Right now. Go away. Sorry, folks. We were going to review Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness by Blizzard Entertainment, but somebody can't seem to stop playing it. Shut up. I am not addicted. I never said you were. Did you tell them about all the new stuff? No, but since I seem to be the only one here, I guess I'll have to. <sighs> okay, first off, the game is in SVGA, which makes it look great, and you can read the text. All the units were rendered using 3D Studio. The maps come in one of four sizes, from one quarter to four times the size of the original. You can play on three different terrain types, forest, winter, and wasteland. Both the orcs and the humans have over a dozen units, including new naval and air units, which has added the effect of introducing one more resource, oil. There, how is that? Well, it was perfunctory. Well, if you're not happy with the job I'm doing, you're more than welcome to come out and join the party. Dumbass. Look, Jim, see how it emerges tentatively from its natural habitat? It can't quite seem to decide what to make of our cameras. Ha ha, very funny. I just couldn't very well let you butcher this review, could I? After all, Warcraft 2 is more than just a game, it's... It's a work of art! Yeah, I hear they're thinking about hanging it in the Louvre. You can crack jokes if you want to, buddy, but it's obvious, even to the untrained eye, that you have no appreciation of Warcraft 2's finer features. Such as? Such as the ability to click with the right mouse button and automatically issue default commands. For example, if you select a peon and right-click on a gold mine, the peon will automatically be assigned to harvest gold. Yeah, that's amazing. Say, didn't Command & Conquer do that a couple of months ago? Okay, so smart order giving isn't exactly a new concept, but it is a welcome one. It makes commanding your armies vastly easier than the original. Granted. And the units are a lot smarter than they used to be. So smart, in fact, I find I've got to rein them in sometimes. Yeah, I've noticed that units have a tendency to rush in and attack when you'd like them to hold off, and hang back when you'd like them to attack. Archers are the most complicated. Now, let's say you've got some hand-to-hand -hand troops in a forward rank and the archers behind. If an enemy missile troop appears, your front line will rush in and attack him, leaving him out of the range of your missile defenses. Or you can tell them to stand fast, but your footmen and knights will stand there and get pounded, and your archers still won't be able to hit the enemy. The only solution I've seen to this is to control each group by hand, which gets rather annoying. Yes, but if you could just set up defenses and go away, you wouldn't really need to be there, now would you? Blizzard's also added a lot of little touches that really hone the playing experience. Hone, right. They do! Listen, put down the thesaurus before you hurt yourself. Look, when you click on something, a little X marks the spot animation appears to show you where you clicked. It's cool. Now, granted, it's not a hugely important feature. Actually, I know what you mean. I really liked the time they invested in creating different voices for all the new types of characters. Neutral here. We're ready, Master. I'm not ready. I've got a flying machine! Again, on its own, a fairly trivial feature. However, all these little details add up to give one the impression that a lot of loving care went into crafting this game. It almost feels like you're playing... <gasps> a work of art. So the game plays well, and I imagine the scenarios are pretty good, seeing as we had to just about pry you off the thing with a crowbar. But I think the real appeal of Blizzard's games is their dedication to multiplayer gaming. I, uh, don't suppose you... As a matter of fact, I wanted to test out the mode and play, so I called up this guy I know in China, what? and the multiplayer's rock solid. The best thing is, they've upped the ante on network play, eight players maximum, and you get three players on a single copy of the game. So the long and short of it is that... <sighs> Warcraft 2 is just as good a game as anyone might have predicted it would be, and then some. And its few shortcomings are more than made up for by fabulous gameplay. And if you liked Warcraft, you should be playing the sequel right now. Is that about right? A very apt summation. In fact, I think I will go and play some more of it. Right. Now! No, no you don't! Ouch! I'm sorry, are these your fingers? Okay, you call 911 and I'll slip them under the door. <laughs>